In this problem, we are going to find this missing numbers in equivalent ratios. So this is 3 ratio 7 and this is some ratio but we don't know this number. And these are equivalent ratios. Why they are equivalent ratios? Because there is equal sign in between them. This equal sign tells that this ratio and this ratio are equivalent ratios. So if we write this in this form, that is 3 to 7, 3 to 7 equal to this number, we don't know, to 21. Okay. Now look at this number and look at this number. Of course, this number is greater than 7. That means if we have to find the, if this is the equivalent ratio of this one and if this number is greater than this number, it means that surely we would have to multiply something to 7 so that we can, we can get 21. So what is that number which can be multiplied to 7 so that we can get 21? The answer is 3 to 7 if this is multiplied to if this is multiplied to 3 then you'll get 21 here right 7 times 3 is 21 now since we have multiplied 7 with 3 therefore we'll have to multiply this 3 also with the same number that is 3 so if 7 times 3 is 21 then 3 times 3 is what it will be 9 and therefore this ratio is what is 9 ratio 21 this is the number that was missing here this is 6 ratio uh, something we don't know missing number we have to find that and this is 36 ratio 42 these are equivalent ratios why because we have equal sign, sign here so this is 6 ratio the missing number that is equal and it, it is equal to 36 ratio 42 now again look at this number and this number this number is greater than this number it means in order to find in order uh, to find the equivalent ratio of this one having 36 here we have to multiply something here right what will be that number which when multiplied to 6 will give us 36 so that number is 6 times and here we have this missing number times equal to 36 to 42 so what should be this number 6 times 6 gives us 36 okay and since we have multiplied this number with 6 therefore we'll multiply this missing number also with 6 okay this is 42 right so what number should be multiplied to this number so that we can get 42 think what number should be multiplied to 6 okay so you'll say that hey 7 times 6 will give us 42 and that's correct so this is 6 times 6 and this is 7 times 6 and this will give us 36 to 42 so this number is actually what 7 so 6 ratio 7 now those of you who are getting if I mean you will say that is there any way that we can quickly tell that this what would be this number yes simply divide this number I mean what you have multiplied here this is 42 so if you will divide 42 by 6 it will give you 7 and that means number should be here 7 or simply multiply this and you will get this number okay that is 12 method what about here we have uh, 36 to 18 and this is equivalent ratio 2 to this missing number we don't know and we have to find that now look at this number and this number now clearly this number is smaller than this number this number is smaller than this number that means whatever equivalent ratio we have here 
surely we are getting that when we are dividing something from these two numbers because we know that equivalent ratio can be either formed using multiplication or by division since this number is smaller than this number it means surely something has been divided to this number yeah. and if something has been divided to this number that means something should have been divided to this number as well because we have to divide with a common number that is a common factor what can be divided to 36 uh, what, by what which number can be divided to 36 that will give us 2 so if we divide 36 by if we divide 36 by 18 then you'll get what 2 18 div 36 divided by 18 you will give you 2 and since we are we have divided 36 by 18 therefore we'll have to divide 18 also with 18 and what number you'll get here you'll get 1 that is this number is 1 so ratio is 2 ratio 1 okay in this case we have two missing numbers these three are equivalent ratios let's take first this one consider this one so if I write it in this form 8 to this missing number 8 to this missing number is equal to 48 to 54 48 to 54 now if we look at this number and this number since these are two ratios are equivalent ratios and if this number is greater than this number it means something has been multiplied to 8 only then we can get this greater number right so what is that number that can be, can be multiplied to 8 so that we can get 48 so if this is 8 or this missing number and if we have to multiply something so that we can get 48 or 54 to 48 to 54 since this is a ratio what is that number that can be multiplied to 8 that is 6 so 8 times 6 is 48 now since we have multiplied 6 with 8, 8 with 6 then we'll have to multiply this missing number also with 6 okay now this is missing number times 6 is equals equal to 54 missing number times 6 is equal to 54 what can be this number when which multiplied with 6 will give us 54 so if we divide 54 with 6 this will give us 9 right and therefore this missing number is actually 9 this is 9 and this is 9 so ratio is 8 ratio 9 now consider this one these two ratios okay so in this one we have 48 we have 48 to 54 and this is equal to missing number to 108 now look at this number and look at this number since these two ratios are equivalent ratios of each other and this number is greater than this number then surely we'll have to multiply something to 54 in order to get 108 108 what will be that number which when multiplied to 54 will give us 108 the answer is if you multiply this with 2 then you'll get 108 now since we are multiplying 54 by 2 then we'll multiply 48 also by 2 so 48 times 2 is what is 96 so this missing number is 96 this is 96 so the ratio is 96 ratio 10 108